Ciao guys, I'm Woody, so in this video I'm gonna do unboxing and first impression of this box over here that is the HTC wireless adapter, the official one from the HTC so not the TPCast one that we had before and you can see my first impression over here that actually I didn't keep because like after trying this ID3 I, I couldn't go back to that there was so much lag, so much artifacts and that green line on the side uh, too many things like that maybe you can fix with the OpenVR software but uh, this one should be a really reliable and so that's why I grabbed it because I really believe in this product and even if it's a little pricey uh, I want to see like if it's really good and it's really the right way to do VR in wireless we're gonna try this with the HTC Vive the regular one not the Pro that I have over there because I wasn't really expecting to have the Vive Pro uh, at least like I wasn't really thinking that it was working and if you want to know the story about that the link is gonna be in the description below and of course in the card over here but without further ado let's get to this freaking unboxing and let's see finally what's inside the box and let's start to set up everything because I want to play VR wirelessly thanks over here so this is gonna be the receiver that is the one that's gonna go on top let's put it out right away so as you can see that's the receiver with the back and in front we have the connection for the original vibe and on the back we have the connection for the Vive Pro and the USB over here but let's put it on the side a second let's keep opening so here we have the connection for the regular vibe with the, the power, USB and the same thing in the HDMI on the side and USB cord. Let's put it on the side, digging in this box, the safety, blah 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 and now we get to the battery over here is a quick charge when you want other battery they have to be quick charge like this one or they're not gonna be compatible it's a 57 milliampere battery i don't know if you have the focus on it here is the battery over here we have the type c cable so used to have the fast charge that's very very useful here we go then we open and this one is gonna be the part that is complicated where we have the receiver over here this is like a little lighthouse to put close to the lighthouse with the coaxial cable because the connection would be a coaxial connection like the one that you have on your antenna to be like to give an example down here we have the clip for something and the PCI card to put in the slot and then it's gonna get out from the back where you're gonna connect the coaxial cable. So we have the antenna, the transmitter, USB card, USB type C, battery, cables for the regular Vive and the PCI card. Here we go. Okay, here we are. So we moved everything here so we can do the setup all together. Uh, the first thing to do is to turn off the computer and to take out also the cable because we don't want any power to go through. We have to install a new card so uh, it's always better to have the power completely off. What's the bad thing and the good thing about this card? The good thing is like you're not gonna get any space on your computer in a in phase of like a USB drive and stuff but Unfortunately, it's gonna take out a PCI lane. So if you don't have it on your computer, there's gonna be a problem. And also the fact that if you have a laptop, you're not gonna be able to use it. And here we are. Because on the laptop, you don't have, of course, that connection. Take out the power cord, remember that. Okay, so here we are. So we have to put it over here. So we have to connect these to the PCI cards over here. Okay, now we have to connect everything back. Blah, blah, blah. So we have to connect the coaxial cable. Exactly like an antenna. And then we keep going connecting all the other stuff. So 
Uh, we need cables, of course, to have wireless for some reason. And uh, now let's connect this part. There should be the clip for it. So this will be the clip for the monitor. Uh, where I don't think it's the ideal position anyway because it will not be like high enough but let's put it like right here for the moment let's remove this here we go and then what we have to do is to connect finally our HTC Vive because we're gonna use the original one not the Pro because I don't have the adapter they still survive with all the cables to have it wireless. Okay, as you can see, we they're setting up the Vive Pro Multimedia, that is this one, so uh, it's seeing it directly, but before, we're gonna have, of course, to connect all our stuff. Okay, so let's take out the cable. There are all the instructions on the website are very, very easy. Uh, we did this already with the Cast and I always hate to do this because it seems like everything is breaking every time but we have to take out this part and then remove of course all the cables no cable anymore bye bye and uh, let's get to this part so let's open this and we have to attach it to the top so what we do is to take this apart as you can see there's the clip so like it's just slide in the top oh, okay and then we have to go with this clip over here all around let's pull this up and here we close it doesn't look super comfy but that's the way they want it we have to slide in the cables again on the top and the parts with the L shape will go in the headset power USB and HDMI again and then the hardest part of all is to close this freaking lid okay oh that was fast actually and then we connect it on the top on the tree that we need so USB HDMI and power okay the cable is very long compared to the it kind of looks weird to be honest that's how they went for it seems like pretty weird this is the situation let me see if it's comfortable or not let's see together so we pull it up we close it and yeah it's pretty comfortable i can feel a little here on the back uh, the part over there to stay on top the part over here uh, but i have to say that it's pretty comfortable so far it's nothing like a major and it looks like an horn as you can see by the way uh, let's keep going we also have the battery over here and type c to recharge uh, that is not gonna need it now uh, let's see if everything works so far so let's take out this other cable and we're gonna have the cable running to the battery over here so at this point what we have to do is just to install the app over here and get to the setup together uh, to see what we can do okay here we are again so we charged the battery at least we tried because it's it's very like a slow to charge even with the quick charge from the phone is just three uh, dots right now and as you can see i switched to the vibe and with this, this nice necklace uh, that i'm using because the cable is super long so i don't know where to put it uh, but i wanted to try with this anyway you can see all the story on twitter like uh, how we got to this point because i tried many different stuff this one at the end was like the best one so far <laughs> headset not connected that's nice okay so trying with the 5 pro and the long cable seems like it's not working at all uh, actually it was like a, an attempt because i really wanted to use it but as you can see um, the wireless adapter is like recognized as you can see here 
I also try to switch all the different channels and also if I click on it, it's gonna start SteamVR. Also, we have the audio coming from here, but SteamVR just give an error and that's a 208 and so it doesn't recognize the headset. I try to restart and do everything so no luck let's run back to the regular one the old generation one okay attempt three last attempt looks a little better uh, put this here maybe it looks better steam vr come on steam vr steam vr is opening okay and now it's recognized and we have some light let's get in in a second and this looks good. Look at that. So this is the situation. As you can see, the resolution is very similar to the one was before. Actually, it looks exactly the same. Probably I'm gonna do a video through the lenses to then uh, compare like uh, these to the the wired. But overall, like even with the battery here, it's pretty comfortable. It's, it's not super heavy and uh, feel nice. Now, if I close like this, I lost completely the signal and everything blacked out. It's good, so far it's very good. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, the process was a little longer than expected, to be honest. Uh, but I have to also say that I tried to do stuff that they shouldn't be done. And for the Vive Pro, I'm gonna have probably to take the adapter then in the future. So far, so good. I don't really like this cable that is popping up a little too much, to be honest. But overall, the, it seems like it's working. I'm gonna test it out a little more, of course. But like going around the room and following the boundaries I have. Oh, this is the thing over here I'm not having any problem and I have to say that as you can see it's not really aiming at me when I'm on the side but still I didn't lose any connection even here behind I can still see but oh now it's blacking out I can still see a little because like 6 GHz in a different way from the 5 GHz is gonna bounce on the walls and stuff so it's gonna be able to reach you even if it's not really in the side of view and of course you're gonna have a better connection if this is the AI but with the 2 meters cable that probably is not gonna be the best because like we can't get even over there to the lighthouse because we don't have enough cable to get there and also I, I will have to drill again the, the wall and there's something that I don't want to do. Uh, we're gonna test it out more, of course, and then I'm gonna do a review about it. For now, the impression is uh, okay. Is that the wireless VR, much better than the TP cast. There's no line on the side. There's no reduction in the FOV. Uh, with the regular vibe, everything works fine. And you can put everything on it so you don't really have any cable running down for the battery and uh, and that's great I, I feel I'm gonna keep it like this or trying to put it a little better of course to have it more secure because as you can see the battery is a little moving and overall the only thing that I have to say is like it's a, a little like disappointing the fact that you have to pay 60 more if you have the Vive Pro to have just a little cable because trying to secure it and you can see on Twitter that I put up like stuff you can without any problem put the, ad ad the adapter on the Vive Pro without their adapter but uh, they just don't want you to and with the long cable the connection is not gonna go through because you need just a, a smaller cable for the data to go faster and just in VR doesn't recognize the headset at all so you can't really use it even if it would be possible because like you put it like a necklace and uh, you're good to go also for the setup I have to say that I was expecting to be a little easier but once it's connected it's very very easy because you just turn on uh, the PC the wireless adapter got recognized and that's it you just press 
your Steam VR button and you are inside. So not all the process that you had to do with the TP gas before. It's just super easy, snappy, and the software is such an important thing in this thing because it has to be easy to use. I was like, I noticed when I had the TP cast that I was using my HTC Vive less because there was all the problem with the battery, also the problem that you had to wait like 40 seconds to get connected every time. So instead of popping in with the, with the cable, you had to do all the process. And so you would say, you know what, uh, next time I'll just have 10 minutes, I'm not gonna go through all the process. It's like the same thing when you take a, maybe the console instead of the computer because you just wanna relax a second and undo and all the stuff and this gets the job done in that because it's just snappy fast and ready to go. $2.99 for wireless, we already talked about it with the TP cast. that's pretty much the same situation. How much are you willing to pay for the wireless? Now VR is getting more and more expensive every time and that's kind of weird because we were expecting the prices to go down instead like Everything is getting like a more like a, even more niche than what was at the beginning where you need to have a supercomputer even more because of the pumped in resolution and then you want the wireless and it's $300 more when like you get like a Lenovo Explorer like this one is like $100 now B&H photos like in all America you can order without any problem. So. That's a little, you know, you can tr take three of those for like just a piece of the puzzle. Anyway guys, uh, that was all, this was a preview and unboxing video. If you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.